You've been aware for 21 years that he has a shiny head? Yo! <laughs> I actually got the size. So. <laughs> that fix the shadowing? Yeah. Okay. You start the episode. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is Cody's glass. Okay. Do you want to do anything to it? <laughs> do it to me. I'll be back. I got to go pee. No. Cheers. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna beat Cody to the punch this time. <laughs> um, we, we're not sponsored by Great Value. You guys have a the label. No, that'll be too close to Cody. <laughs> no. <coughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. <laughs> the longest intro ever. How are you today? Good. So we're doing your all-time favorite ever, 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 ever favorite. You want to be buried with this stuff. Yeah, it's... I wouldn't say my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite. Just my all-time favorite. I mean, you buy it by the case. By the barrel. That's where we got this barrel from. <laughs> and I don't know what your fascination is with this, but... but it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. So we're doing incinerator. Um, it's 45%, 91 proof. Mm -hmm. um, it's 45.5 percent it's definitely for the common man yeah it's like 12 bucks for a... what it's not incinerator it's incinerator, incinerator. No I. we wouldn't know what you're saying since you refuse to have a mic on you haven't given me one you didn't buy me a fancy mic <laughs> why do i have to buy everything you're the producer <laughs> <laughs> so we have incinerator incinerator which is what I wrote down, by the way. Yeah, I see that. Not here, but there. Uh, we have Cinerator, 91 proof. It's definitely common man. It's 1229, 1299 yeah. at um, Total Wines and More for a 750. You don't buy 750. Yeah, you this is like panels. 20 bucks or something. So <laughs> yes. Um, maybe we should tell the audience why we haven't done a, some episodes for a couple weeks. Okay. We They're not there it. following our Twitter. Are you not following our Twitter out there in the web? So, uh, we suffered. <laughs> Sorry. Cody's getting into candy and crackers and Twinkies and stuff. <sighs> Stop, please. <laughs> Stop. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have for real. Okay, so um, we suffered some massive, uh, to us, massive flooding. Yeah. Um, our town was um, quite a bit of flooding, but for us it was really um, devastating because it washed out our road and we have two bridges that are ours, not the cities or counties or anything, and they both went. One of them was easily fixed because Cody had repaired it last year and the part that he repaired, the main structure was fine. It just washed around it. But we had about 15 feet of water maybe in the creek that took out the big bridge. We have eight foot culverts just completely ripped um, some of them out. And we had a 10, 10 foot, foot culvert. And so we had a 60 foot gap and all of our vehicles were trapped. We were fine. The yeah, houses were fine. The pasture was flooded. The neighbor's pasture had about anywhere from four or five feet of water to a couple of feet of water in it. Um, and so we've been boating it for a while and then you and Cody built a bridge across the gap. A foot A foot bridge. bridge. And uh, it was just over a week before we could get our vehicles out. So we were sharing vehicles that weren't trapped to get to different works and stuff. And um, been running the tractor <clears throat> all day long for the past couple of weeks and just all too tired to film and not too yeah. tired to drink yeah we were drinking we i were guarantee drinking. you that but, but all we too were 
Researching. Researching. <laughs> we were just too um, dirty, tired, muddy, stressed to uh, put out some episodes. So I, I sent out a, a, a couple of tweets on that. And, um, normally we had been in the habit of producing um, extra extra episodes. videos. And then when we got the new camera, we decided to slow it down because of some of bad episodes we had with the old camera and just do a couple episodes for that week and we'd record each week and because of that we didn't have any in the can to set no. down so that's that was our problem uh, we still don't have a bridge we just have a, a uh, pile of dirt in pile the of dirt we just covered made a temporary road across the the 60 foot gap just to get the vehicles over only 20 feet 30 feet it's only 20 feet Okay, so we had to build a 20-foot dirt berm across the creek. Uh, we're going to have to build a 60-foot bridge because <clears throat> some of the culverts that didn't get washed out are not really safe. So that's where we stand. That's why yep. we didn't do anything. All right. Well, that's why he didn't do anything. We weren't. I was up here recording the whole time <laughs> with my imaginary camera. You were researching? <laughs> researching. Yeah, I hear a noise in the middle of the night. I come out, he's sitting there butt naked with a pretend camera going, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Why butt naked? Why do you have to add that? <laughs> it's in the middle of the night. It's <laughs> more you than him. Cinerator. <laughs> All right. 12.29, so I believe... That is a four barrel. Yeah. Get out of there. <laughs> that was a, uh, what is it? A uh, maker's mark nap. <laughs> okay, so that's a four barrel. Um, we've obviously had incinerator, but you've been really wanting to do this for a while. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, love I was quite whiskey. surprised when I did a little bit of investigation. This is a California distilled. Oh, I was. Quite I didn't know that California distilled. The um, you asking Siri? <laughs> Haven Hill, who makes this, mm -hmm. they make all kinds of stuff. Admiral. But now Haven Hill is Kentucky. Spiced rum. They make the Christian Brothers. They make um, Elijah Craig. Yeah. Evan Williams. Evan Will Heaven they Hill is um, Kentucky. So why does why did I find that this was California? I don't know. I just went to the website. Maybe they just own the distillery in California. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. If you guys know the answer to that, let us know. Incinerator. Sorry, Incinerator. Um, if you could clue us in and just send us a a message with a case of this stuff yeah and let us know more details it was a little bit difficult finding details in fact um, I researched several um, samples today for the next week and people are getting more secretive about what's going on so yep all right incinerator let's go to, to aroma aroma it smells like cinnamon yeah if you don't know this this is a hot cinnamon whiskey mm -hmm. it's not a liqueur it's, it's a whiskey, a whiskey. But you can smell the whiskey in there too. But it's overwhelmingly just cinnamon. So, do you think that the Cinerator Company buys Heaven Hill <coughs> whiskey, takes it to California, and then and infuse it? Infuse or, it. I it didn't say anything <coughs> like that on there. Okay. <laughs> just opened up my allergies, which has been bothering me all day. I okay. What do you got there, buddy? I'm gonna for the aroma, just because I like the cinnamon so much. I, I'm going pleasant. Pleasant a five, and I, I could just sit there. And I said it was four it. a light, um, and I think the last cinnamon whiskey we did, which was a, Cal a Colorado, yeah, uh, whiskey, um, and we said that was a five. No, 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 oh, it was. It was Aftershock, which was a liqueur we said was a five. Well, we've done several cinnamon whiskeys. I think uh, our cameraman's having a stroke. 
You drank it, didn't you? No. You just deep inhaled it and I was feeling it tingling <laughs> down my throat. So right. I put it as a four light. You say five. Mm -hmm. uh, Cody? Yeah. Cody yeah. puts it as an yeah. 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 All right. I probably go four too. No, I, I put eh. Yeah. Numbers. <laughs> Well, that's what an ant is. I don't know why I can't translate it. Flavor. From very alcohol, bitter, moderate, pleasant, and rich. Yeah, it's so good. It's... It's, it's really good. It's got that nice cinnamon taste. Not a lot of bite to it. It's hot cinnamon. It's like... Sucking on a fireball. Yeah. Um, but it's as I find with all the cinnamon whiskeys, it's very syrupy. Yeah, it is got a syrupy. It got a sweet syrupy flavor. I'm gonna put this as pleasant a four. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. And the, one of the problems with this is it's 91 proof, but it doesn't. That's they, not a problem, that's a benefit, right? Except for a couple of times I found myself having... Too much. Too much because it's just you don't really realize that you've drank that much right. because... What do you think, Cody? I'd probably go with four as well. Louder. I'd probably go with four as well. Okay. And then bite, I'm going to say it's a mile to four. I'm going to end up four and a half. It doesn't linger either. You're saying a four too? So Cody and I have 16 as a straight barrel. You have a 17. No. Uh, let's see. That's weird. Oh, we f I forgot flavor. Flavor was... Uh, 16 for me, 16 for Cody, um, you're going to have 10, 18 for you. So you have a 4.5 barrel, we have a 4.4 barrel, which averaged a 4.25, I, I can go to 4.5, Cody, can you? Yeah. Okay. I, so we'll do I a like four point. Yeah. Yeah. Except for you do drink too much of it. So, so Cinerator, we give a four and a half barrel. Um, if you like cinnamon whiskey, not cinnamon liqueur, cinnamon whiskey. whiskey. Um, this is really good, and uh, Andy drinks way too much of it. And if you say, if you're having it on an empty stomach, not the greatest idea because one, alcohol will make you have an upset stomach on an empty stomach. And then the cinnamon also gives you indigestion. Thank you, Dr. Cody. Yeah. And the one thing is, we're Don't just sipping it. this and stuff, so it's not too bad. But if you do, like, if you go ahead and take a shot on it, it's, you'll feel the full heat, which I, I yeah. like. I, I So if you go that. to the Cinerator website, they have recipes. And mm -hmm. normally, I like ice with my cinnamon whiskey. It gives it a little cooling. And that's one of their favorites that you should do is just uh, either ice or you chill it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. The other thing that sounds really intriguing that I might try is um, a shot of this with uh, Irish cream wow. like yeah, that Bailey's or something and that sounds really good but yeah it's getting my allergies going so we better cut it <laughs> okay make so sure you hit the like and subscribe check out the uh, um, blog the and Twitter Twitter remember there's no bad whiskey there's only good whiskey and great, great whiskey. whiskey pretty good all right cheers later <laughs> okay. Blow your nose. Not. Go ahead, blow your nose. You.